iOS 12 is finally here and I gotta say we needed this update because iOS 11 was pretty buggy, pretty glitchy and we needed this update so bad and it's finally here. And I'm gonna show you in this video should you update, this is on the iPhone 6, I am gonna make a separate video on the iPhone 10 so make sure you guys subscribe if you're new around here because I am gonna do this test right after this video. Um, don't share, I don't want Apple through my stuff and here this is iOS 12 now same exact icons like before like iOS 11 same exact control center but it's really under the hood improvements you have some new features like screen time and basically it's just setting up limits so if you're on Instagram all day you can just you know it's gonna actually block you if you set like a limit so um, very very handy features very very useful features but there are some features missing such as group FaceTime so you're not gonna be able to find group FaceTime with this update just yet so now Apple delaying that for whatever reason and another feature missing is um, shortcut Siri so there's no no kind of uh, Siri shortcut app it's supposed to be a separate app for that and it's not here so they took that out now the first thing you're gonna notice you're gonna save a lot of space so this is the before so 56 gigabytes and now it's 51 gigabytes so a lot of space saved up yeah, there's a bunch of features on iOS 12 but most importantly the speed and the battery performance is the star of the show on iOS 12 and just the bug fixes and everything like that all the new features we saving that for ios 13 but without further ado let's launch up some of these apps let's run a geekbench score and let's do the um, battery life test now before i even do that this is my battery's health so i can launch this app whoa very high what the app was bugging so 91 so that's my maximum capacity so far and honestly guys when i run these battery tests it actually drains my battery capacity so i'm doing it for you guys it was at one point it was at like 98 99 and now it's at 91 so that's how it is man all right guys so let's launch up some apps and see if this is fast so i update all my apps so they to the latest version right so let's launch up instagram yeah <sighs> okay all right, so Instagram is that. I sure really sign in, but whatever. YouTube. Okay, no thank you. Okay. Everything is functional. I gotta say, iPhone 6 is really hanging in there, though, in terms of performance. Twitter. Okay, I mean, obviously, it's not the fastest in the world. My iPhone 10 is gonna blow this out the water, but to be an old device... Not too bad, not too shabby. Mario Run. And really, I should have a timer on the side, but man, I don't need to do all that. <laughs> so Mario Run is taking a little bit, taking its sweet time. Okay, there we go. Still loading. We're actually going to play a quick game real quick to see if it's going to lag or stutter. So it's taking me to the tutorial here. So yeah, it's moving nice and smooth. Not no lag, not nothing like that whatsoever. All right, Subway Surfer. Only downloaded two apps: Asphalt and Snapchat. Okay. And there you guys have it. You can tap the play. Can play a game real quick. No lag. Nice and smooth. Yep. All right. Spotify. Okay, Spotify kind of took a while to load up, though. I ain't gonna lie, and it's still loading. Now, I think this varies on my connection here. It's done. I mean, I don't even know why I just downloaded the studio app. I don't know why I did that. I'm gonna delete that. Now, what I'm gonna do now, this is something new. I'm gonna go back to these apps, and you guys can see they still run in the background. So, memory efficiency, this one kind of had to... Oh, no, nah, I didn't really reload. So, you guys can see memory efficiency definitely on point. Oh, okay, yeah, it's good. And I can still launch this back. Okay, still works. And Spotify, okay. Yeah, so good. So now I'm going to launch up Asphalt. This is a new app that I downloaded from the App Store. Okay. 
And the only reason why I make these iPhone 6 videos is because, well, iPhone 6 is the, the most popular iPhone ever. But I think that's slowly changing up due to the fact how this phone is old and people probably updated already or upgraded their phones. And yeah, this is gameplay. You guys can see. Tutorials is so annoying, but yeah, just testing out the the performance. Now I should launch back Instagram, see if it's gonna reload. Yes, it did. Yes, indeed, because Asphalt is a very very powerful application. Okay, YouTube. So everything had to refresh, and that's due to the fact that this phone only has one gigabyte of RAM, so all the apps had to refresh here. Hmm, except for Spotify. Interesting. And then Snapchat. Okay, finally, just all it up. Let me launch up the Geekbench, but first, before I do that, let me kill out all the applications here. There we go. So Geekbench, okay, CPU. So June 4th, that was the first time that we saw the iOS 12 beta. So you guys can see the scores here. And yeah, so this is June 4th. So now, today is September. Or this month is September. I don't know the exact day, but let's run this Geekbench and let's see if the score is improved. And there you have it. 1590 single, 2743 multi-core score. Okay. So let's compare that to, well, first of all, let me screenshot this. And matter of fact, you guys can see like this. So June 4th, this is the beta 1 of iOS 12 and this is the the final bill of iOS 12.0. So top is latest, bottom is beta. The bottom one is beta. So a little bit of an improvement. I was using the phone off camera. I kept the timer going. Yeah, cause I didn't want to record the whole thing. I mean, come on. You know what I mean? This is gonna this is gonna be a big video file and I don't know, might not do it off camera, but I still have the timing going. So I'm just letting you guys know. I'm watching Tylos of Tech. He's defending the the new iPhone 10s and the 10R. Yeah. I'm gonna keep that timer going. I'm gonna still use this phone. On Instagram, I just logged on to my Instagram account. So I'm just testing out the battery. So far, so good, 61%. All right, my phone finally died. Seven hours and 10 minutes. Keep in mind, this phone doesn't have any service, so maybe take away like, I don't know, two hours or an hour. Seven hours and 10 minutes, pretty good. So guys, there you have it. iOS 12 on the iPhone 6, and I'm gonna be answering the main question, should you update? And I gotta say, yes, hell yeah. You get the speed improvements, you get new features such as group notifications, you get the screen time feature, so you know, take away the Instagram addiction, and you even get into do not disturb feature, so you have, you know, do not disturb for an hour until tomorrow morning. So, you know, at least Apple didn't skip out on that too, and you can, you know set the schedule if you want you guys can see if you get a lot of notifications you have group notifications here so it definitely works let me zoom that in and there you go if i tap on it you can see all the all the messages there and then you can cancel it out clear works just fine and i mean come on things just come up faster look how fast that is yo look bloop bloop it feel like a brand new phone. So guys, that pretty much concludes today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys subscribe with notifications on and comment down below what you guys think about iOS 12. Um, right now, four o'clock in the morning, time to work on the next video. So I'm gonna be um, testing out the iPhone 10 running iOS 12, and I'm gonna be comparing that to iOS 11. So stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, other than that, it's your boy Pops, and I'm out. Peace. All right, one more. Look how fat, look how, fluid everything just runs the camera is ready to go you can lock screen it bloop ready to go let me kill out the camera application bloop ready to go it just feels like a brand new phone look i'm i'm swerving i'm swerving right now whoa look at this timer <laughs> 
forgot to stop this time or whatever time it is. Uh, damn. So yeah, this is this is a no-brainer update.